What's up guys, 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 26 skin here, and this is an NU tier match I have with the 12th century, and this is a brand new NU team I have constructed, and I have, um, so it's a good mix, I, I feel. I, I've actually replaced the camera up to this stage with a, a scarf heat more, because I think it works better. But I've got a defensive wall in the form of my golem. I've got a spec D wall in the uh, form of my hypno. And I have a physical attacker in the form of cacturn. And then, uh, oddly enough, my drift limb is actually uh, a special sweeper variant with calm mind. Um, and my camera up is sort of a life orb thing that might work sometimes, but it doesn't really. And my electrode is my lead. So let's just go off. So I only with my electrode PB82. My lead lead, if you get that. And he starts off with this fucking licky licky. And I hate this thing so much. So I just start with a taunt, because I've played these things before. And they just dragon tail, wish, protect. Fuck them, alright? This is the new Brelum, and I hate this thing in the NU tier. This is the NU Brelum. As you can see, I'm just trying to get as much damage off as I can. This thing is a special defense beast. So there's nothing... I'm hoping he's just going to dragon tail me into my um, cack turn. There, and he does just here. So I'm just going to go straight for the drain punch. Super effective physical hit, which will hopefully do a bit more damage. But nope, still can't kill it off. And it's just going to wish. It's going to protect. It's going to do all these shenanigans. I really should have saw Dance predicting the protect, but I just wanted to play it safe in case he wanted to decide to pass it to something. Even though I don't know why you would, because you led with that. But I'm an idiot. Anyway, <laughs> so Maractus is chilling out here. And in comes this Metang. So uh, I'm just going to go for the Drain Punch. And it's not going to do anything because all Metangs are defensive because they carry the EVO light because. That's just what Metangs are. So I'm just going to set up a Sword Dance on his Metang because it really can't do much to me because its attack is going to be minimal. And there you go. So it goes for the Meteor Mash. It doesn't do that much. And I can be getting my health back with a Drain Punch. And there's a nice, tasty critical hit which really helped me out. Um, and this Metang is essentially gone now. It goes for the Toxic. And every time I bring it my bloody Cacturn, turn, it gets Toxic by something. I think it's because it's like my anti-wall Pokemon. It seems to take out all those defensive walls. So... He just generally gets toxic. Anyway, so he withdraws his Metang and brings out his Armaldo. Now, I'm expecting a defensive Armaldo because that's the set I run. But obviously, it's probably not a popular set because most Armaldos I meet are actually offensive. Anyway, so he's just going to go straight for the x -Hizzer. And um, this thing's quick because it outspeeds my Cacturn. I think my Cacturn might just be slow. But damn, I thought Armaldo was slower. Anyway, so he takes out my Maractus with the times 4 super effective x -Hizzer, And uh, Cacturn's down. So I'm going to bring in my Electrode here. Uh, and I'm just going to... Um, predict the switch and go for a vault switch um, which is nice because he brings in the freaking licky licky <laughs> and uh, what I really should have done is um, instead of vault switching is actually predicted the licky licky well not that you could even predict that switch but if I had taunted there it would have made my life so much easier but I didn't get the taunt off there so I'm actually stuck in with my warmogs warmogs is another special attack he's actually got quite a bit of investment into attack so um He's a bit of an odd wall because you can also deal damage as well. So I'm just going to speed this bit up because fuck this thing. And it's just going to wish, heal and take life back. And this guy knows how to use it because he doesn't protect on my earthquake because he knows he'll live one. At the moment, I'm just fi um, fish critting. Crit fishing, that's all I can do. Because if I switch, he's just going to drag and tell me. There is, I could switch into my um, Hypno and possibly get the Toxic off. or um, But Warmog is really my best poke to take out now that my uh, Cacturn is down. He's just going to drag and tell me out anyway, so there's no point switching. I'm just going to have to hope and pray and deal as much damage as I can to this thing. Um, man, I should really bring like a massive check to this, because it's so prevalent and I hate it. Anyway, I bring in my eye nose, but he gets taken away from the, the freaking thing. So now my camel toe's out, hanging out, and uh, I just go for the flamethrower. I'm like, meh. I have overheat on this thing, um, but I'm thinking maybe... Maybe if I just flamethrow it, you know, I want the reliability, I don't want to get stuck out with minus two attack. It brings in my electrode, so now I finally get off my taunt, and this, this thing is finally looking kind of dead. But I'm, I should have not have vaulted, which I should have just thunderbolted, because even though I'm going to go into my golem now to try and take it out, he's just going to drag it tail me out. So this is the issue with Licky Licky, even when you get the taunt off, unless you're... Um, Offensive Pokemon is a taunter. You're not going to have a good time because the only attack move is no. It's going to know is Dragon Tail. It's going to smash you out, and it's just oh, you know, fuck it. I hate it. This thing's bollocks. <laughs> oh, this is why this battle. This battle was like 20, maybe longer minutes, and it's and I've actually sped this up by twice the speed. Like all the stalling parts like this, they're twice as fast as what they happened in. Hence why the music is going absolutely crazy now. There's not a lot to talk about really. I'm just getting. Dragon tailed out and switching and trying to do something. So I go for the drain punch because it's super effective, but my hypno is useless uh, when it comes to the offensive. 
I might start running some attack EVs in it because I'm thinking that Dray Punch might actually be quite useful if I run less HP and more uh, attack. Might make it do so. so anyway, I finally get the Toxic off. And I'm like, yes, this thing might die sometime today. And then the real kicker is revealed. This thing, this fucking thing has a heal bell. That was it. That was it right there. I was so excited. At 8% health, I'm like, yes, the Toxic will do it. Nope, heal bell. So I'm going to put the pressure now because he's going to have to decide whether he's going to wish, protect, or heal bell. So I'm just going to keep smashing him in the face. He's going to drag and tell me out. That's fine because in comes my electrode. Now, now he's fucked because I can taunt him. And this Toxic is going to start racking up. So he knows that and he's going to switch out. So predicting that, I'm going to go for the Volt Switch on this Forret and get a massive critical hit because I fucking deserve one. <laughs> Anyway, and I'm going to bring in my um, Warm Orgs just to resist it, because it's clearly going to be a physical attacker of some kind. I'm assuming it's going to be Scarf Giga Impact, because why else would you use it? And obviously U-Turn is a nice move to get some switch initiative and momentum going, so you're not stuck in with Forret. Uh, he brings in his Maractus. I'm like, damn it, I'm dead. So that's just the Earthquake I planned to hit the Forret with, so that's not a problem. Now on the next turn, I'm going to have to switch. And I switch into my um, camera up, forgetting it's park ground, thinking I'm going to resist this really well and probably be able to get off a move next turn. But unfortunately, Pedal Dance is obviously neutral damage and my camera doesn't have any defense EVs and it's just going to go down. So next I'm going to bring in my Drift Blim, because despite it being an offensive set, it's still going to have a lot of HP. Now I'm going to um, Calm Mind up here. Because um, I thought Pearl Dance was special, but obviously I think it's physical. But it doesn't matter because I resist the hit really well anyway. And now he's confused. Um, so predicting the switch, because you know, I'm so good at these predictions. I'm going to go for the T-Bolt to get uh, neutral damage on whatever he brings in. However, he decides to stay in with his Maractus and get confused. So I'm like, damn it. So now I'm not going to get over predict this time. And I'm just going to go straight to Clear Smog and uh, get some super effective KO on it. And there we go. So that wasn't too bad. I, I did get the confuse hacks and the power hacks, which kind of helped, I guess. But um, now my three to four arms is just hanging out, um, waiting for this thing. So now I'm wondering why the hell has he brought a furret into a drift blin? This thing is probably gonna have the sucker punch, and there we go. I didn't even get a chance to say it because I thought there's no way you'd ever bring it in. So I'm gonna I'm gonna scout what it's gonna do with the calm mind, and there's the sucker punch. I'm like, well, damn. Now I know. <laughs> I was like, I know it's got the giga impact for sure. I know it's got the U-turn, and because he's obviously scarfed into Sucker Punch. Now, if that was me, I would have stayed in and Sucker Punched again, because the other person would predict a switch. So I'm going to play it safe and do what I would do against myself, and Calm Mind, to make sure I don't screw myself over. And now he brings in this Simipole, which is fine. I, I know I'm going to survive at least one hit with all my Spec D increases, and he actually goes for the Nasty Plot. He already knows I've got the Thunderbolt, so that was kind of a maybe a misclick on his play. But anyway, so I take out the Simipole with a crit. Did it matter? That might be why he's dead in, because he thought he could live one Thunderbolt. But I could definitely have lived whatever he thrown at me, so who knows. Anyway, in comes the forret again. So sucker punch is not going to happen, so I'm just going to calm mind. But wait a second, he tricks me. Fucking trick choice scarf forret is a thing, apparently, I didn't know about. So now I'm locked into calm mind, which is great. Uh, so I'm going to have to switch now. Uh, and he's going to get his lefties recovery. So he can go for a U-turn if he wanted to, but obviously he decided not to. I don't know why. I would have just U-turned because I'm forced to switch. I'm not going to stay in, am I? Anyway, so he brings in his armor, though. I'm going to be with my Warmogs because I w resist his dual stab and all that shenanigans. Um, and I'm just going to go for La Stone Or do I go for Earthquake? I go for Sucker Punch. Um, why? I'm not sure. Should have gone for Earthquake there, but never mind. Um, I should have just revealed the fact that I have Sucker Punch, which is a bit of annoyance, because that could have been useful later on. But now I'm probably going to go for this um, Earthquake now, or do I go for Sucker Punch? I'm probably going to be real stupid. I'll go for the Earthquake. Now this Licky Licky comes back in, and I'm like, do you know what? This this thing has caused me so much pain. So many tears have fallen. I'm, fuck it. Right, I'm done. Wish. Fuck you, Wish. I'm going to fucking explode right now on your face. Crit hit, you're dead. I'm done with that Licky Licky. Okay, that's that's that. I I would quite happily lose my war mogs for that because oh, I hate them. Anyway, so now it's looking kind of grim for me. Uh, well, actually no, it's looking good for me because I forgot all his posts are pretty much dead. If they weren't pretty much dead, it would have been a bit of a different story because I've definitely got the weaker team left. Anyway, so I'm going to outspeed the Armando, take it out with my Drift Blim. In comes the Forret, and thanks to the Choice Scarf, I'm also going to outspeed this thing. Okay, but I'm not 
Oh, he's got the Sucker Punch. Of course, I'm a good player because he's got the Sucker Punch. Duh, guys. Jeez. Now, I'm pretty sure I can lift a Sucker Punch with my Electrode. And, um... So, I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch, I believe, on this. Yeah, I knew I could... Well, it was a bit risky, I guess, because I've only got 4% health left. But I thought I could lift a Sucker Punch. And my thinking does me well. So, I'm just going to Volt Switch on the Forret. Bring back in ye old Drift Blim to take out the Metang, which is pretty much dead anyway. And that will be the match. So thanks very much for watching, guys. It was a good battle I had with 12th Century. Fuck his Licky Licky, though, because it's annoying as. Um, I have some more NU battles to upload with this team, and another team, actually, and I have some little Cup on the way. So, uh, yeah. Thanks very much for watching, guys. It's been Galaxy Go26, and this has been the longest battle in the history of ever 50 turns. Jesus. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.